Hi, welcome. Jeff Frick here. We're at Stanford Stadium. It's a beautiful day. We're here with Dave Covell from the San Jose Earthquakes for the California Classico. Uh, Dave, great to be here. Are you excited? Can't wait. I mean, it's an amazing day. This is our fourth annual Classico here at Stanford Stadium. Expecting another sellout. It's going to be a great day for soccer. It's awesome. So last we, last we talked to you, it was at AT&T Park. Now okay. we're at Stanford Stadium. We're hoping to talk to you at Levi's Stadium in a little while. You guys are like the soccer nomads here in the Bay Area. We're everywhere. You know, until our stadium opens next year, we pretty much go wherever we can get a great stadium and this is certainly one at Stanford Stadium. Yeah, and you had the Brazil game as a warm-up, so that was uh, that was pretty, pretty handy. Pretty good undercard, right? <laughs> yeah, so talk a little bit about, about the impact of the World Cup. Clearly, it's getting huge ratings. Everybody's really excited. No one's going to work on Thursday. How has that impacted, you know, your business and what's going on with the earthquakes? It's been huge. You know, from a mind share perspective, people are thinking about soccer. They're thinking about how they, you know, engage in the sport. Um, in terms of numbers, you know, we were selling about 50 full-season tickets a week. Uh, for our new stadium before, and we're selling well over 100 a week. So it's doubled the amount of sales for our new stadium. And so to see all those things happening at once, to have so many different articles, to have one of our own players, Chris Wondolowski, our right. superstar in Brazil playing for the U.S., it's been tremendous. That's awesome. So then talk a little bit about the California Classico, because mm -hmm. you've taken a little bit of a spin and, you know, and branded this particular game with the, with the uh, you know, the downstate rivals, right, yep. with LA Galaxy. So talk about kind of the history of, of what's going on and why you say this is the greatest rivalry in the MLS. Well, you know, we have a great history with the Galaxy, back and forth. Both teams have won and kind of dashed the hopes of the other. The last two seasons here, we've had amazing comeback wins, the earthquakes. And so this game has really become a centerpiece for the whole league. Um, in terms of showcasing the quality of play, the talent on the field, and just the fans. You know, we have 50,000 fans here. To be able to have that many fans celebrating MLS, I think, is really an accomplishment. So give us an update on the stadium. How's that going? Last time we talked, I think you had they'd put the tree on top of the stadium because True. nobody had died, which, yes. is, which is a good it's thing. Always a good, day, yeah, always a good yeah. thing. So kind of where is it now? How's it progressing? When is it going to open? Give us the update. Well, it looks fantastic. You know, all the steel is up. You can see the terraces where the seats are going to go. We have all the roof in. They're framing all the buildings on the concourse. The actual scoreboard bar, which is the largest exterior bar in North America, is fully built. And so all these things are coming together. It's going to be done in November. We open it next March uh, at the beginning of the MLS season, and we can't wait to uh, have our own home. It's awesome. And if, if you haven't seen it, if you fly in or out of San Jose, you're just sitting on your Southwest flight waiting to go. Look over to your left, can't and you can it. see it. I can't wait for whatever the takeoff cheer has got to be when, they, uh, when the 737s ramp up. It might depend on the airline. You know, we could have one per airline. It would be kind of fun. So, so, so talk about what what do you got special going on for this? Last time we talked, we talked about tech and the impact mm -hmm. of tech mm -hmm. and big data on your fan experience. What uh, ticks, uh, trips and, and uh, tips do you have for tonight? Well, special you know, things planned. We're doing a lot with the video boards here at Stanford. You know, we're integrating all the, the Twitter feeds, Instagram feeds. We're putting that on the board so people can see their comments happening, rolling in real time. So you get a real connection to the experience. You know, we're enabled for Bitcoin here, taking Bitcoin and all our merchandise here at the stadium at Stanford, which is the first time for this stadium right in the middle of Silicon Valley. So we're trying to do as many things as we can to stay progressive, innovative, to connect to this community that's just so tech forward. It's awesome. So Dave, thanks for stopping by. I know you're, you're slammed Great sellout here. crowd here at Stanford. We're going to be here for the whole game. We're going to be on the field in the press box out with the people, maybe dropping some Bitcoin on a new hat or something. We'll have to figure it out. We're going to go behind the scenes. We're going to talk to the social media people and really invest investigate how you can use social media and tech to, to elevate the experience, change the experience, increase the engagement of the experience in what's already a pretty engaged crowd in, uh, in soccer. They cheer, they, they, uh, they bang the drums, time. the oh, whole yeah. thing, oh, right? Yeah. All right, so uh, any last comments as we, uh, as we send it out? You ready you know, for the night? Ready for three points tonight. Let's go, go three Quakes. Three points, all right, yeah. great. All right, Jeff, we're here. Thanks, Dave. We'll be uh, right back with our next guest after this short break. Sweet, man.